Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Sunday eh, afternoon here on Vlogging Life. I got up today at about 11. Yeah, slept in a little bit longer, but uh, whatever. Um, right now I'm on my way over to my parents' house. Today's mom's birthday. I forgot to mention that in the vlog yesterday. I should have mentioned that because then this morning she would have woke up, watched the vlog, and be like, "Ah, oh, he did remember." But I did remember. But uh, I'm just on my way over there right now. I'm gonna drop her off a little something. On Friday, when I, uh, was it Friday? Is that when I went to the, yeah, Friday, after work, when I went to get, uh, groceries and shit, I stopped off at the, uh, shoppers there, and picked her up a card and some scratchies. She told me not to get her anything because of my employment situation, like how I didn't have a job, and then all of a sudden I had a job. But, you know, it's birthday, so I figured I'll get her some scratchies. She likes those, you know, scratch tickets. So let's pitter patter and have at her. Alrighty, just leaving the parents' house now. I didn't bring the camera in. Mom doesn't like being on the videos. I can respect that, so I just won't put her on the videos. But um, dropped off her card, sat around, chatted for a bit. By sit around, I mean you know sit around. Um, they're going out for dinner. So that's why I'm not doing dinner at their house. Dad's taking her out to uh, a restaurante or something like that. Um, didn't really ask where they're going. They're just going to go and fucking eat some food and probably take advantage of mom's birthday being today and maybe score some freebies or a discount or something. I know Casey's does 15% off and they bring you a piece of birthday cake and Kelsey's, I don't know what they do. Uh, no idea about all these new like Montana's and Shoeless Joe's and all these other restaurants that popped up. I couldn't tell you the foggiest as to what they do, but um, yeah, I've been to Casey's a couple times on my birthday and got 15% uh, off and one free beer and a piece of cake. It was good. Anyway, I'm heading home, so I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Peace. Well, I've been home for a bit. Um, on my way home, I decided to swing by the vape shop, the one downtown, see what they have. They're called Juice on the Loose. And let me tell you, they're a lot cheaper than where I worked. Holy shit. I picked up some juice. I, I like to buy... I, I know, I mix my own juice. I shouldn't have to buy juice, but I like to see what other people are doing out there. And this stuff here is something that Chuch actually recommended from the Americas. And I couldn't find it anywhere because it's made out of California. And normally we don't get juice up here from the Americas. So I figured I would check it out and they had some. And it's this stuff here called Juice Box. It actually looks like, like on the side here, they got a picture of a straw. It's just a picture, it's not actually a straw there. Um, it looks like a juice box that you used to have in your lunch as a kid, right? Where you like put it in the top and you know what I mean? But uh, 180 milliliters and it's, it fucking tastes like Welch's apples. It's just amazing. So they had that, which was like actually 180 mil. Okay, so here in town, a 30 mil goes for about 20 bucks. So you'd think, just going by scale, you know, 60 mil is about 36 to 40 dollars. So you'd think you'd pay about 120 to 150 bucks for 180 mil. Nope, they're selling them for 60 bucks. Or sorry, 50 bucks plus tax came up to about 60 bucks. And this is what you get: one of these big bad boys, which is 180 mil. Then for travelers, they give you two of these portable bottles. Kind of like when I used to buy the, um, uh, this shit here. Let me see if I can get the box out. From, from the vape shop I worked at, I used to buy this French dude. And, um, you know, it, it's $45, but that's only a 60 mil. 180 mil for 60 bucks. $15 more and you get a boatload more juice. How the fuck can you compete with that, right? So, picked that up and I also grabbed, I was tasting some juices in there and this one here, like, oh my goodness. It's called Vape Time Quad Berry. This is some good shit. It's a 70-30 mix, three milligrams of nicotine. Fucking fantastic stuff, just amazing. So, you know, when, I, when I'm having a hankering for some not Skivens brand juice, Holy, clean your lens, Skivens. There, that's better. When I'm having a hankering for some not Skivens juice, 
I think I might just head over there because their prices are fantastic and and a little free sponsoring for them. They give you one of these. A juice card. Now the uh, the reason why there's three on there, I didn't buy three bottles of juice, I just bought two. The juice box counts as two, so you buy ten, you get a free bottle. Like how cool is that? And oh here we go. Here's all the different brands they carry. Premium Labs, Gold Seal, which I don't like. 416 Vapes, 12 Monkeys, Ruthless, The Juice Punk, Moshi, Naked 100, Vape Shake, Breakfast Club, Cutwood, Illusion, Coil Glaze, The Schwartz, The Mad Hatter, and Ice Cream Man, and more. Like, they got, oh, they had wall-to-wall -wall of juice in there. It was ridiculous. Probably should have brought the camera in and filmed, but, uh... I don't know if they would have really enjoyed that very much, but this is kind of cool. Like, this is pretty, pretty good friggin' selection of juice. I don't know why it took me so long to go in there. Oh my goodness, my camera's friggin' dirty again. I'm telling you, keeping a lens clean? Fucking hard. In all seriousness, I should have been in there a little while ago and checked out their selection, because <clears throat> they got great juice. Pretty good deal on, like, devices. As far as, like, CanVape has the Skyhook for 80 bucks. They have it for 100 but with CanVape, there's a $15 delivery charge, like, for shipping. So it ends up being, like, the same price as buying it in town. I will, at their shop, anyway. You know, the Alien, they're selling it for $100. Um, they got a bunch of good deals. So for a brick and mortar, they're actually pretty fucking on par. I do say so myself. So I saw on the Facebooks that they're planning... This is ridiculous. They're planning on rebuilding the waterfront. They actually leaked the plan. Well, leaked the plans. They showed the plans of what they want to do. And they say it's going to cost $18 million to pull this off. So they want to turn the waterfront into a tourist attraction. Basically set up like... Oh, well, probably that. Shit. To attract people to it. So that it's an all-year-round attraction bringing in tourists from all over the place. My problem with that is where the fuck is the city going to get 18 million dollars from? Oh, us, of course. Took out some sausages for dinner tonight. They're breakfast sausages, but fuck it, I'm going to chuck them in the air fryer and see how they turn out. Like there was this deal that North Bay had going on back in the day with uh, Nissan. And uh, I just got the dog outside. Are you, are you done, dude? No? Anyway, um, basically the deal was was between us and Sudbury, and whoever got their two-lane blacktop done, I converted to a four-lane blacktop from North Bay, or from basically here to the 400, so converting all the two-lane sections to four lanes, so it's faster travels, would win the contract from Nissan to have a manufacturing plant put in their city. Now, in North Bay, that would have created about 10,000 fucking jobs. Between fabrication, office, clerical, computer, IT, so on and so forth. Would have made a lot of fucking jobs in, in North Bay. So, North Bay put a lot of its focus into getting that blacktop done. Getting all the roads done, built, and ready to go. For us, it's Highway 11. For Sudbury, it's Highway 69, I believe it is. Well... We got ours done three years ago. The Nissan plant was still built in Sudbury. I guess they didn't think North Bay could get the job done, but we did. They don't really care. They figure, fuck it, North Bay, they don't deserve the plant. They put it in Sudbury, put the jobs there. My big problem with that is, if we had more jobs like that in North Bay, maybe the population wouldn't be dwindling. And I know I mentioned it in the past about uh, how the recent census that we did showed that North Bay is currently down population. We were at 54,000 people. Yeah, it's a small city. Give it that. But we were at 54,000 people. Now we're sitting at 51,500 or 300 or something like that. Anyway, 3,000 some odd people packed up and bailed. Why? Because there's no jobs, taxes are too high, apartments are too high, and uh, the city doesn't realize it. North Bay's a retirement town. Them are some greasy breakfast sausages for sure. Well, it's chow time. Anywho, people, nothing else going on tonight. I'm going to shut the vlog down here. Get this all edited and uploaded to YouTube and go from there. So thanks for watching the video today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, keep on vlogging.